Boom! What up, everybody? This is a IGTV or video or wherever this is exactly episode of Mixing Up on Mixer Bits. I usually don't do all these video style, but hey, why not? Let's do some. What it do, what it do, what it do. Boom! Everybody, what's up, everybody? This is the Bits episode of Mix It Up on Mixer with your homie, your dude, your host, JT for real, though. What it do, what it do everybody, what it do. Um, I wanted to talk today in particular about hustling, but hustling unselfishly. And truly, that's exactly the way I say it. That's what I mean, is everybody's out there talking about the grind, the hustle, getting down, getting dirty, getting into it, beating the guy in front, pulling the 24-hour stream, or you know, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Whether it's the sketch, you know, anything unethically or, or weird or, like I said, just, just the mentality, too, of just trying to beat someone as opposed to how about help as many people as possible. And then if everyone's doing that, everyone wins. I know it's a difficult subject. I know it's a difficult concept. But just, it's a possibility now. It's now, it's, try to think about that. The world can be a better place now. It's a possibility. So, let's get back to it. Hustle, but hustle unselfishly. Um, like, let's see, if you're ever uh, hustling unselfishly, when trying hard and, let's say, streaming a lot, let's say trolls, I mean, this, this only fits slightly into what I'm talking about, but the unselfishly. Trolls, when they come in, it's easy when just going through things to just go, bam, get rid of them, bam, keep doing your thing, just because you want to continue with the stream, you want to make sure you're focusing continually on the people that are there. But hey, how about try this instead? Hustle unselfishly. Talk to try like with lately I've been doing this and it actually has been working very well. I'd like to say instead of nine out of every ten trolls eventually having to be timed out or leave or whatever, now it's probably about a fifty fifty ratio. Where when someone comes in, let's say, Oh, you're trash, you suck, blah blah you know, whatever they say, and you guys know what I'm talking about. But let's say they come out and say that, and I'll and instead of even making a joke, I'll be like, Oh man, all right, dude, that's no big deal. Hey, hey, it's hey, you know what? Thanks for that, because you know what, I I I kind of feel like I feel trash today. I haven't been doing that well, so thank you for the compliment because I almost felt worse. You know, I just I I almost make it silly and ridiculous, but not but not like a yeah dude with like a, with a shitty tone or crappy tone. You know what I'm saying? So I've noticed when pulling that sort of behavior and really not trying to just take it and act like it's all me and being selfish, I just hustle unselfishly and totally go and, and totally turn that troll into a into a homie, which has happened before. We have plenty of it actual examples of this happening in my stream, which is cool. I don't have to go into it now because I've done that in a previous cast, but I have turned trolls into friends and you guys can too by always kind of thinking a little bit, thinking about other people instead of just yourself. It's, it's, it's a little bit easier to do that. And, uh, and pa oh, and real quick, when it, when it, with passion, because I've, this kind of goes with it, the grind, like that people say, like I said, I don't like the use of word grind, but when people always say that, a lot of times I hear them go, I want to, people say this, I want to grind, I want to get into it, and I, and I want to make this my passion. I've heard that a lot lately when I've asked somebody one-on-one, -on -one, hey, can you kind of tell me what, what do you think? What's, what's your vibe on this? What do you, you know, what's your goals? What's your goal set? What do you think about streaming? And what are you, what are you going to do in, in the world of content creation? Whatever. Whatever the question is, I often get that type of weird little, like, whatever like cookie cutter response that really it sucks actually every time i'm like inside of me i go ah oh. you know i really do because i'm like because i, I want to hear somebody be like i've been thinking about it every day every single day i make a video every night because that's all i think about and i want to make these videos i have like 500 videos and i make them and you want to hear about these videos and talk about them like i kind of want someone that will be that's so excited that i'm even asking about it that they can't stop talking about it because you know what that you know what that would remind me of it would remind me of me you know when somebody is talking to me, whether it's IRL, a friend, family, foe, doesn't matter who it is, if they're like, hey, hey, what you know, what were you doing yesterday? Or anything that brings up like streaming or or the show or the podcast, I'm always like, Oh, so you wanna know something. Hey, what's up? Yeah, last I was last night I did did a pretty good episode, it was working out pretty well, it was like four hours and I, and I was kinda of going for a while and I thought about going a little bit. Like, I don't ever stop. I'm like, woo! an excuse to talk about my favorite thing who you know and i talk about this much on, the, on this because it, it matters and i think other people other people that feel like this or talk about this as much as i do or get really into it those are the people you want to talk to man <laughs> like 
that's those are winners, man. Those are the winners. Like those are the diamonds of the rough. And I'm not trying to talk myself up. I'm talking trying to talk you guys up. If you guys are this excited and you guys are thinking about these things, and that's what's up, dude. So that means keep going. But remember, go back to what I'm saying: hustle unselfishly, because passion is what comes first. It's organic. It comes first. It's organic. It's already part of you. It's <laughs> it's not something learned or talked about. I mean, for it, good God, it's definitely not something you just go, yeah, I got that, I do that. That's that's not how we do it, man. That's not that's not how it's done. It just that's just not how it's done. So so just remember that's a big part of it. And remember, if you're not feeling it often, no, don't get me wrong. Everybody out there is going to have a bad day or maybe a bad weekend or whatever. Remember, there's exceptions to the rules all the time. So remember, always always be on, be chill with yourself. Don't. Don't be too hard. That's where the focus is. But you know what I mean? Just just be chill with you. You know, don't don't worry about it. Because remember, if you're not feeling it all the time, two, three times, let's say you have five, four days a week show, and two days a week you're not feeling it, it's, this probably isn't for you. And it doesn't mean you have to leave the content space. It just means maybe your efforts and thoughts are better used in a different spot. You know what I mean? But you're, maybe, maybe you can help a friend. Maybe you can be a, a manager. Mm. Excuse me. Maybe you can be a, a community manager, you know, whatever, you know what I mean. But you don't, you don't have to leave. If you if you still have some sort of spark, some sort of passion that you, you know, something that's smoldering there, doesn't, you know, you still should should keep going and still hustle unselfishly. So nobody. So the reason why I say this, particularly because I've seen a lot of weird things out there lately, and I kind of want to remind everybody, it's not bad to want to hustle and really push and go and grind and do all this stuff. It's not bad. It's, it's really good. It's good. It's good. But make sure that you're a true winner and not a fake winner because nobody likes a snake. Nobody likes a snake. Every, nobody likes a snake. Everybody needs a friend. Boom. Simple as that. Nobody likes a snake. Everyone needs a friend. Be that friend. Don't take the easy path. Simple as that. Because there's so many people that can pull cheap things, make fake mixer accounts or fake Twitch accounts or buy followers or all the crap like all those sketchy dirtbag stuff you know what i mean that's that's the easy path and you're and you're, it's all you're it's already over you're never gonna make it you're never gonna make it if that's what's your if that's the way you're doing it because nobody likes a snake and everybody needs a friend so remember being that friend to a to a to 15 30 100 200 keep making that number go be that friend over and over and over again and guess what you you get double wins because guess what you get you get you get a couple steps closer to perfect laughter for one thing, but you are enriching more and more other people's lives. Bam, win, and then by just default, enough of those people are gonna send that love right back to you. It's a win-win. So everyone goes, <laughs> my buddy, that's Ralphus. Everybody can go along with this. Everybody can do this. This is something that everybody needs to start doing, and if we all do. It works, particularly in the content creation space. We're, we're kind of a particularly niche community. It's something we can all band together, start working together, grow something even bigger and more amazing. And I want to help do that. I want to help grow that. That's why every all of you guys need to DM me. DM me immediately. I don't it, whether it's on Twitter. It doesn't matter. Here, one sec, guys. Give me one second. 